Hey guys, I didn't expect to go pop hunting today, but work really sucked. So I'm here to release some stress. I'm here at GameStop. Uh, you can't see it. The tree's blocking the sign. But yeah, I'm here at GameStop. Gonna release some stress by some Funko pop hunting. Hopefully they got some cool stuff. All right, we're here at GameStop. Let's see what they got. Um, it's still the five person limit, so it's a pretty intimate setting. So I might just do a quick scan of what they have but I'm um, probably not going to record a lot in here. Uh, they've got a few, actually a lot of good ones. Um, too many to kind of talk about, especially, like I said, with the uh, how intimate the setting is here. But uh, I'll just do a quick scan of what they got. They have the Rick and Morty box and then some of the Pop Towns. Ten inch figures up there. But, um, they've got some of the t-shirts here, but not my size. Um, they actually have the Superman t-shirt um, in my size, but it's a deluxe pop, and I don't have any of those yet, so I don't want my first one to be Superman. Um, these are the ones I'm deciding between right now. Um, I'm probably definitely going to get this one, and then we'll see about these two. But, uh... Yeah, that's it for games. All right, guys, on to J.C. Penny. Sorry for the wind. Okay, guys, so not a huge um, section over at J.C. Penny. They do have pretty close to all the freaking Fortnite ones, but um, and then some Star Wars and Frozen ones. But that's just about all they have. They have another little section over here that's just Fortnite, pretty much. Um, and burnout some Star Wars one. They have the Love Ranger and Cuddle Team Leader vinyl here. So that's pretty cool. Um, they have Moonwalker back there. Praetorian Guard. I do like the Bright Bomber and the Fortnite ones, but I'm on a lit limited budget today because uh, I didn't expect to come out Funko Pop on it. Oh, they have Rex and Triceratops vinyl too. Um, but yeah, limited budget today, so probably gonna skip the Fortnite ones. Um, but yeah, now on to uh, Target, I think. Guys, here we are at Target. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, my stress has not been relieved yet. Um, I did pick something up at GameStop, but I do not feel better yet. I guess I'm gonna sh hunt until I feel better. I don't know. Hey guys, we're here at Target, and they have a huge 10 inch the child um that target guy actually saw me um target employee actually saw me looking at him he said he j literally just put them out so that's pretty cool um they also have looks like some new my hero academia ones oh hello kitty and friends so that's pretty cool pochaco pochaco deku and that's maru bakugo i'm not super sure um Elaine is not here to hold my sunglasses, so. Um, and then My Melody Ochako. Um, I guess I'm not really super familiar with either of those um, series, but um, pretty cool looking pops. Um, they still have the Only a Target Cam and Mitch. Um, actually, this is a restock because this box is, looks pretty good. Yeah, there's the box we saw last time. So, uh. Ooh, they have, um, Alexander the Great Otter Pop. Um, yeah, other than that, they have Archie. Um, that's an alright one. But, uh, Jason Mendoza from The Good Place. Um, but other than that, nothing we haven't really seen before. Um, Wyatt Earp from Tombstone. Rick Allen. Ooh, this is actually a cool one. So this is the drummer from Def Leppard, and he actually only has one arm. This is actually a pretty interesting one. Um, but as far as things I'm interested in, uh, nothing, nothing too crazy. Um, yeah, Funko, Blacklight, Lime, uh, Hats. They got this one, and, uh, and they have the Iron Man backpack. Um, I just have no need for a backpack, and 
the hats kind of fit me weird. I have a bigger head, so uh, yeah, I'm not gonna be picking this stuff up. Plus, it's pretty expensive. Um, but yeah, this stuff's pretty cool. I wish I would have been here for the black light pops, but those obviously sold out right away. All right, guys. So we are back at the house, and I'm actually waiting on Elena to get home from work. So I can show her the pops I got and show you guys at the same time. So that'll be pretty exciting, but we just gotta wait for her to get home. It's gonna be about half an hour. Hey guys, so Elena is back from work and that is who is recording right now. And so we're gonna unveil the pops that I got today and um, you know, show them off. All right, so the first one um, she knew about <laughs> this is the angry Pikachu that uh, just came out. It's very cute. That one's pretty nice. Um, let's pop this one open. All right, that one looks pretty nice. <laughs> I do like that Standard one. Standard Pikachu's one like this. <laughs> The tail's a little bit movable. I wouldn't say it's super movable, but the head definitely spins. Um, let's pop this one in and I'll just leave it like this for now and we'll show off the next one. All right, the next one I kind of told her about over the phone and I'm actually pretty excited about this one. I don't know a whole lot about it, but it's pretty cool, it looks pretty cool and I know a little bit about it. Um, this is the My Hero Academia X Hello Kitty and Friends. Hmm. This is the Hello Kitty All Might. Um, you, you probably don't know that these characters, well, Hello Kitty, I'm sure you know, but. Yeah, I do know Hello Kitty. But, but All Might know. is kind of like one of the more main characters from My Hero Academia. It's an anime. Kind of similar to Naruto. Not really. This is the Pop Out of Box. I just thought it looked really cool. She's got the All Might suit on right there. And then she's got the, you know, traditional Hello Kitty head. I really like the Hello Kitty Pops, actually, for some reason. It's because I like the ones that, like, don't have to be, like, as Pops, they're not, like, far-fetched looking. You know, it's like, they, like, translate well, like, into Pops. And then the last one, she has no clue about. Okay. This one, um, <laughs> if you watch the video, you'll know. But this one, I'm super excited about. Um, I've been wanting this one for a long time. I see it all the time on the Funko website and stuff like that, and other Funko Pop websites. This one is the Smokey Bear. Oh, that's pretty dope. Funko Shop limited edition one. <laughs> this one has the uh, water bucket instead of the shovel. So that one is pretty nice. Let's uh, pop this one out here. This one I'm super excited. On the back it says only you can prevent forest or wildfires. That's pretty cool. Official licensee of the Cooperative Forest Fire Prevention Program. I'm super excited about this one. This one looks super nice. Where'd you get that one from? This is from GameStop. That's pretty cool. They had a few nice ones at GameStop. You, you'll watch, you'll see the video later, and uh, you'll see they had a, they had a, they had a few nice ones at GameStop for sure. This is the Smoky Bear Pop. Pretty, nice, pretty, pretty nice. Dope. Pretty good detail. There is a flocked version of this. I really want that one too because it just makes sense as a flocked one. And then on the bucket, it actually says "Only You." I don't know if you can read that. Only you. Pretty cool. It says Smokey on his belt buckle. I, I doubt you'll be able to get that. Can you no. see it? Mm -mm. Yeah, no. It says Smokey on his belt buckle. It's honestly even faint, even to like me just looking at it. But really, really cool pop. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed watching and have a good one. Hey, guys, thanks for watching. If you want to see more of me and my growing collection, hit like and subscribe. Or leave a comment if you want to talk.